Prince Albert and Perry Saturn. My wow. goodness. So Kentucky's first power play chance. Face off controlled though by NC State in their own zone. Now finally cleared out. That's nice gonna clear. Go the ice. Number 11, Nick Christopoulos with the clear for the Wolf Pack. Now skating up, getting taken down was Vitt. Ampford comes up with it, he gets taken out here. Gets chopped off the puck. Now here's Glass, he'll get it to Valerino. Now back to Ampleford. actually came off the skate of Valerino. Here's Ampleford. he'll put it out to Saris. Saris gonna fire it. White tried to glove it, Valerino wants a penalty. Cause he got tripped up there. Not gonna get it. Here's Glass now. Gets it up to Vitt, now to Ampleford. Ampleford in the circle. He'll fire it back out. There's a shot and a save. And nice save by White. White. Is he okay? <laughs> I think White caught that one where he didn't want to. <laughs> kind of slow. Looked like somebody was trying to prevent a second generation superstar there, baby. <laughs> 106 <laughs> left on the Valesco penalty. Face off to the right of White and goal. Oh my gosh. Rohar wins another face off. Now here's Getz with possession. He'll take it in the circle and he'll put it at the top. Rips one. Oh, oh wow. gets it off the skate. Rohar now pinned up against the boards. Say some somebody's got to go help Rohar there. He's getting pinned up by two wolf pack. Getz trying to dig it out. They're gonna blow play dead. No, they're no. not. Finally dug out. Nice check there from Getz. Now trying to cross it up. Oh! oh! Almost tipped in there. Almost in midair, a tip in by Rohar, but play continues. Holmes trying to fire it. He couldn't pull the trigger. Man got right in front of him. There's Robinson. He'll get back to Holmes. Holmes taking it in himself. He'll play it off the boards. Nice play there. As he was actually looking for a slap pass, and he just played it beautifully off those boards. Now gets centers it. Oh. Morgan just kind of caught it on the heel of a stick. Back to full strength. And we got a penalty coming up here. It's going to be on NC State. A hook Hooking call. the call. So Kentucky now with another opportunity. That is Dan Masoulis going in. So Kentucky with back-to-back -back power plays. Just three seconds after the first one ends, they get power play number two. And warning over to the goalie that he needs to have his helmet on. 11.22 left in the first period. We're tied at one. Dombrowski and Ampleford for the faceoff. Faceoff one by NC State in behind the net. Here's Valerino. Valerino looking for Vitt. He gets it a bit, but he loses it, so he'll cross it over to Saris as we try to reset here. Saris gets around one and cleared wow. out of the zone. Nice clear there by White. Borgard back to play it for Kentucky. Played to Vitt in behind the net. A little bit of pressure there by Dombrowski. Now passed up. Here come the Cats on the break. Valerino is going to take it into the top of the zone. In the right-hand circle, playing it back out to the top. There's a shot. Nice deflection there from White. Now here's Glass. Glass gets it back out to the top to Saris. Here's Glass again. He'll wrap it back around to Amp. Further cycling through, trying to get closer to the net. Nice drop back. Saris is going to fire one. Nice to, nice Boy, block there by White. Wes, Wes White is very impressive on the deflections and block shots for NC State. NC State won it in offsides there. Puck at the top. Here's Saris. Oh, fans wanting a slashing call Should've there. Should have gotten one there. Wes White just hacked glass like crazy. Now crossover. Here's Vitt. Vitt looking for the centering pass. Turns it over to Dombrowski. Dombrowski would dive and clear. 38 seconds. Kentucky might catch him on a change here. Nice pressure there from NC State, though. NC State does have two players, name, last name White, number two, Wes White, defenseman, and number 30, Will White in goal. Not sure if they're related. Now here come the Cats again. Top of the zone, trying to break through Zampleford. He does so. 
He's going to get around one. Looking Good for patience. a centering pass here. Gets the third back out to the point to fit. There's a shot and it goes in off of Valerino. I don't know if Valerino got a stick or not. I think he did. I believe Actually, Valerino. Was Robinson on the I believe shot. Valerino got it. We'll hear wait for the official call. Robinson with the initial shot there. So Kentucky now. That shot took me so far back and knocked me so far back. It made me remember waking up next to Dick Murdoch with his tidy whitey on, baby. Very, very nice move by Valerino getting in front of the net. And I hear Dusty. Too much info, Dusty. Wait for the official call here coming. I do believe it's going to go to Valerino, so net him one. The action keeps going. NC State the player taking a little bit of a dive, it looked like. Now here come the Cats. Tony Valerino. And now here's Morgan. He avoids the check. Looking for a centering pass. Here's Morgan once again. He'll play it to the boards. Graham going to get there for Kentucky. And now Holmes with some pressure on him. So Valerino with the goal. Did, nice they give Robinson from Holmes. A, did they give Robinson an assist on that? I heard unassisted, but I, I they might correct I'm it. giving Robinson the assist Yeah. On that. And again, we're trying to dig the puck out of the side here. And they'll finally blow it dead. 8.32 left in the first. Two to one, your score. So that will be Tony Valerino's 19th goal of the season, which leads the nation. Uh, they announced, I think Hinkley announced it here as unassisted, but Robinson blasted on that, and Valerino just got a deflection. Might have even hit off his jersey. I don't know. It didn't, yeah. didn't seem like it hit much off him, but it went in. And, uh, just enough to redirect. Here comes Ampliford now, top of the zone. He tries to fire one. Brian McLaren lost his stick for NC State. Nice hip check in the boards by Kovic. There's a shot for Manford in behind the net. Now here's Warmald again. Warmald will play it back out to Hubbard. Warmald in the circle. Try to get the ample for there. He wasn't paying attention. We do have a penalty coming up. Slash Slashing. Is the call. Is this going to be another power play for the Cats? I do believe it is. Going in number 25. Paul Kovic. It's about time. <laughs> Kovic has been getting away with a lot of that. Got away with a lot of it last night. Yeah. We talked about, figured Chris Hubbard would be looking out for him, but this time he gets caught by the ref. So Kentucky with their third consecutive penalty. Third penalty in just five minutes and 22 seconds span and, for NC State. And we do have one, one of those goals is the power play. Now face off one by Kentucky. Here's Ampleford. Ampleford in behind the goal line here. Looks for Valerino. Gives it to Valerino. He'll throw it out to Saris at the point. Vid in the slot looking for a centering pass. Shoots, scores. Valerino again. Valerino from Saris and Vit. 20 goals on the season. Valerino was flying like a bird, baby. Like, just like a bird flying high. And let me tell you something. They're going to shower him with flowers tonight, baby. So <laughs> He's all over it. Two That's consecutive great. power play goals for Tony Valerino. Unreal. And NC State already taking the timeout. Very now. smart move, I think, by the NC State coaching staff. Settle their team down because you get Tony Valerino going like this, it's going to end up in a blowout. There it is. What a nice maneuvering of the puck there. From Vit to Valerino, or check that. It was Vit to Valerino. Saris should have the second Saris, assist. I think Saris got the second. He's, he's quiet. He's directing the band. With Valerino. Yeah. Yes, it is Valerino from Vit and Sarah. So once again.